All right, hey you guys, what is going on? GI Geo Gamer here, and today we are back for another video. Today I am going to be demonstrating how to use the Steam Workshop for CSGO, how to set up custom maps, as well as get different areas to practice your aim, your guns, your weapons, whatever it may be. So let's get started, shall we? To start things off, you're going to want to go ahead and open Steam. All right, from the home page, you're going to want to go ahead and click games in the top left, view games library. This will show all of the games that you have installed through Steam. Um, and then you want to go ahead and click on CSGO. Mine happens to be at the top because I have it favorited. Yours may be wherever. Click on CSGO and go ahead and scroll down until you see the Steam Workshop. Browse the workshop. And this will open up the maps, the content for CSGO's workshop. Um, start things off, most popular map. All right, so this is a map. So if we go ahead and click on that. And as you can see, this map has different areas. Um, it's called op. So it's probably an op training map, as you can see right there. And you'll be able to go ahead and play this map in the game. So if you want to go ahead and use this map, you simply click subscribe. By subscribing, it has been added to your subscriptions, which will automatically download it into your CSGO library. Now let's go check that out, shall we? All right, from your Steam, uh, from your CSGO page, go ahead and click play, offline with bots, workshop, and here you will see any maps you have installed. From here you can also click view workshop which will open up the workshop in a little browser and again you can find any maps you would like to download simply click on them and click the subscribe button then they will end up appearing in here once you have installed a map click simply come into here and run any map you would like to play from here this really doesn't matter um, I usually click competitive you can choose the bots um, and click go. Okie dokie, once you are in the game, um, as you can see we're in the map, it should go green once the round starts. Yeah, do a little bit of a fade in right there. Um, Oh, what the heck? Wrecked. Wrecked. Easy clutch. Um, but anyway, uh, once you're in here, there's a couple commands that you're going to want to go ahead and use um, in your console. So you can use you can use ball underscore kill all. Uh, S, make sure you go ahead and do SV uh, cheats one, and then you can do uh, ball underscore kill space all, and all the bots will die. If you want to kick bots, you do ball underscore kick all, and you'll kick all of the bots. If you want to add bots back, it's simply ball underscore add underscore t or ct depending on the side. Uh, or you can also do bot underscore quota and set a number. Now this will do half and half. So if you pick 30, it'll be 15 bots on each um, side. Because this is competitive, you can't really do that in a casual game. It would work. Um, MP underscore round time. <clears throat> you can set the round time, say 60 minutes if you want to just practice for a while. And as you can see, once the countdown warm-up timer ends, and there you have it, that is how you add bots, remove bots, and install a community workshop map. I hope you guys have gone on to enjoy it. If you have, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below, and as always, if you did enjoy, I will definitely catch y'all in the next one.